Hey guys, what's up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another figure review. And today we're taking a look at this Casey Jones action figure from Best Action. Recently on the channel, we took a look at this Donatello Best Action figure. And I was actually really happy with it. I think for £15, it had a really good sculpt, great paint, and had a nice range of movement. I had a lot of fun posing it around for Instagram. And so when I was scrolling through eBay and I came across this Casey Jones Best Action figure, once again for £15, I thought I would pick him up because I don't have a Casey Jones figure in the collection and this guy looks gnarly so he's finally arrived and I definitely want to take a closer look at him here on the channel. Let me know what you guys think of this figure down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of Best Action as a brand because as far as I can tell they're still fairly new to the game and they've been bringing out some great figures recently so I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. And while you're down there, guys, if you could do me a massive favor, as always, and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. And let's not wait any longer. Let's take a closer look at Casey Jones. So let's do what we always do and take a closer look at the packaging first. Up top we have best features, best articulation, best assortment, is that true best action? Ninja Turtles and Nickelodeon logo here, best action, pretty cool image of Casey Jones on the left, Ninja Turtles, Casey Jones on the side here, get another cool image, really like the colours and the artwork that they've used here. Great image of the product on the back, 31 points of articulation are right up about Casey Jones so hit the pause button if you want to read that now. All the accessories that the figure comes with and then a bunch of mumbo jumbo at the bottom. So there is the box, something that I've not noticed on the boxes before is on the inside there's this sort of slip cover that you can slide out and it looks really nice so this works as the background in the box but would definitely make a good display which is definitely what it's intended for. And yeah, as I mentioned, not noticed it before, not showing it off on the channel, so wanted to show this off this time around. Some really nice turtle artwork in the background, Casey Jones at the side and Ninja Turtles at the bottom. So yeah, I'm impressed with this. I think this is a nice touch along with the sticker. Best action know what they're doing uh, when they're giving us these toys. Along with that, we do get some accessories. So Casey Jones comes with this it's a golf bag, right? I mean, this is what you would use on the golf course. Got this brown paint on it, not much else. There's no shading or anything like that, but it is a really nice sculpt. It'd be good to go in and kind of give that maybe another wee wash and uh, really show the details that are sculpted in here because you can see there's some cuts and scrapes and things. So that's nice and it does sit pretty well on the figure. I'll show that off later on. And uh, it comes with two hockey sticks here. So you've got this wooden colored one with a thin handle, pretty wide. And then there's this more kind of, uh, it's all the same size going round. And it's both of these have the white wraps. So yeah, both really good weapons, uh, nice accessories, really happy we get these two. And along with them, we also get this baseball bat here that I have ported into his hand. So he holds all the weapons pretty well. Uh, but let's take a closer look at this thing. Nicely sculpted, it is broken up the top intentionally. Um, so that's a nice touch. I think all these accessories are really nice. Definitely no complaints. He comes with uh, two, inter oh, no. two interchangeable hands, so you get this white wrapped hand here for his, that would be his right arm, and then this brown, is that a glove I guess, he's got the wraps and then the fingerless gloves, so that's for his left arm there, and he comes with this alternative head that I dropped as well which looks really nice good sculpt i had a casey jones toy as a kid that i loved to death i mean i played with that thing every day and it had a removable mask that came off and on and inevitably i lost the mask eventually still loved the figure but this definitely gives me uh, flashbacks to those toys uh, i do like how it's an interchangeable head and not just a removable mask but there's the two head sculpts there and yeah th this looks really good um this head sculpt here, good skin tone, nicely sculpted, eyes and everything painted really well. Hair looks really nice, definitely uh, a good head sculpt there. And then taking a closer look at this figure, I think this thing looks great. 
Uh, let's start with the head sculpt. I really like the mask. I think it's sculpted really nicely. Uh, painted great as well. It's very minimal with the black, but it does stand out and it really highlights the sculpt. I think the mask is excellent and I love the red straps as well. It's a bit of a contrast with the white, the black. You have this red going over the top and I think the way the hair is sculpted, kind of uh, coming out over those bands, it's excellent. I really like the head sculpt on this thing. Both head sculpts are good, but this one is definitely my favourite with the mask. You see the eyes are slightly grey. Oh yeah, that looks like Casey Jones. He looks pretty scary. I think it looks really good. And the hoodie is a kind of brighter teal sort of blue, which was unexpected. I mean, in my head, Casey always had a grey hoodie and even like looking at the artwork here, it does sort of look grey, but now knowing that this is blue, you can sort of see that this does have a blue shade to it. And on the figure, yeah, it's this bright, bold blue and I do really like the look of it. I think it looks really nice. You can see the hood kind of sculpted on the back. Nice sculpting all round, really. And you can see uh, where it's kind of cropped. And then you've got the hoodie strings as well. And then this shoulder pad works well with the bag. Once again, I'll put the bag on later on. But yeah, the paint does not slack on this thing. Really nice uh, going over. Got a wee bit of uh, silver here on the buckles and things. And then two different browns. Does nice uh, over the hoodie. You've got the gloves and the wraps. And then you've got the grey joggers as well with rips in the knees so you can see that skin tone coming out in the knees really nice touch and this thing looked great and um, you've got these sort of olive colored converse um, and yeah they're really nice as well so i mean the sculpt in this thing really good the paint on top excellent really up to the standard donatello here i'm really happy with both of these best action figures and i'm really happy with this as a casey jones figure but my problems then come with the range of movement looking at this thing he does look really well articulated of course the box really promotes the articulation and things but the range of movement just isn't great um the head moves left and right up and down a wee bit arms have you know, good movement, upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, get the arm moving that far up here and then a bit further up on this arm. Everything's fine in the arms and the head. When we get, you know, it looks here, oh, we might have an ab crunch or something. You can get moving a wee bit, you know, backwards and forwards. And then same again, left and right, just a wee bit left and right. Nothing in the waist area. And my biggest problem comes from the legs. Uh, when I was posing this guy around, kind of wanted him in a jumping pose, got the leg. It will move that far forward, and that's about it. Any further, it pops off. And that is the biggest downside with the figure, I think, is the range of movement in the legs. It's same with this one, just pops straight off as soon as you try and kick it forward, which is a shame. It doesn't even move back, it moves about that far back. You've got this uh, articulated knee, so you can get his... No, oh, that's really good, you know, in the knee area, but yeah, it's a shame try, trying to get him kicking forward and in a sort of jump pose. And that is my biggest gripe. Uh, let's compare this guy to some other turtle figures. First up, here's our Casey Jones best action figure next to the Donatello best action figure. And I think these are all right next to one another. I do think Donatello comes across a bit big next to Casey Jones here. You know, all these proportions, they're standing at the same height, but he's a lot more bulky. Um, yeah, I think they work well, but it could be a bit better. I, I just think Casey should look a wee bit bigger next to the Ninja Turtle, but... I'm not too sure, I do actually need to go back and uh, look at what these guys look like in the comics next to one another. I would always just imagine the turtles to be that wee bit smaller, but I can't quite remember how they stacked up height wise. And yeah, as I was saying, Donatello is definitely that bit bulkier and bigger than Casey here. I do actually think he scales a lot better with this Leonardo figure from the Mutant Mayhem movie. This figure is a wee bit smaller than the best action Donatello and I think he does work a lot better with Casey Jones here. Just Casey being that wee bit taller and proportion wise they are around the same so I think these two look killer next to one another. And so there we go for this best action Casey Jones figure. 
and I really like it man, <laughs> if Best Action keep releasing these Turtles figures for £15 then I'll be more than happy to pick them up. I think the sculpts are really good on these things, accessories are always great, playability factors up there, I do wish this thing had a slight better range of movement though, mostly in the legs because as you see that upper leg it just pops straight off when you try and kick it forward and that is such a shame um, especially because as I said they do advertise articulation, it looks well articulated so I do wish I could get this thing in some better poses but it looks the part and for me in action figures I think the overall look is sort of the main thing but I know everyone's different. Yeah. This gets uh, top marks from me, especially for the price point. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. We are down there guys, if you could do me a massive favour and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll leave the link to my Instagram in the description below for I'll definitely be posting some pictures of Casey Jones up over there. I mean a lot if you could check that out and it means a lot that you've checked this video out right here. So thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll catch you on the flip flop later. Cheers.